Hello, welcome to the webinar. My name is Sam Dolce, and I'm an attorney with Milestone Consulting. Today I'll be presenting on when and why to use tax-free settlement designs. This is part of our broader webinar series where we present on important financial topics for both attorneys and their clients. But before we begin, just a bit about me. My dad was a trial attorney for more than 30 years. He built his own personal injury firm from the ground up. My mom is a PhD in rehab science and disability studies at SUNY Buffalo, and she dedicates her life to help people of all levels of ability achieve success. Growing up in that kind of house, surrounded by union workers, injured people, people with all sorts of disabilities, I knew that I was going to serve working people and serve people who were recovering. So as soon as I graduated law school, I became a personal injury attorney. I litigated cases, I helped a lot of people. And then I became a class action attorney for a pro bono outfit. We did a lot of good work. I won a lot of great awards. But during this time, I saw a huge gap in the framework. There were a lot of people settling a lot of cases for a lot of money, but not a lot of the clients were actually achieving financial success or not as much as they should be. So I started doing some research and that's when I found Milestone. Now Milestone as a company is more than just a settlement planner. Um, we actually operate the only nonprofit in the financial lending space. So when your client desperately needs money for food and rents, we're able to give them a short advance with an interest rate of less than 10%. Excuse me. Milestone, we do comprehensive settlement planning and help your client from the moment they walk in the door of your firm till the moment they are financially stable with all their financial advice. And Monolith is actually an RIA and we're able to both manage and handle your money in an appropriate and safe manner. And when I say comprehensive settlement planning, this can go in a lot of different directions. There's all sorts of trust work, Medicare set-asides, qualified settlement funds, we do it all. And today we're just gonna be talking about a small piece of that. However, that small piece is pretty important. It's probably the best planning tool any of your clients have, and that's tax-free settlement design. You may have seen our ad in trial, uh, has your settlement planner changed with the times? I just wanna bring this up because a lot of attorneys I know have been using the same settlement planner for 20 years. They're very loyal, I understand that but not everybody's using the same tools and it's important to at least evaluate those. Because the new industry standard, as far as I'm concerned, for structured settlements is tax-free settlement design. And to go through this, I wanna talk a little bit about Tracy Morgan. You may know Tracy Morgan from Saturday Night Live or 30 Rock, um, and you may know that he was in a tragic motor vehicle accident. He suffered significant injuries, then there was clear liability against Walmart, who paid a very large settlement, undisclosed. Um, and for today's examples, we're gonna pretend that Tracy's gonna be receiving $1 million. And we're gonna consider a couple different solutions for Tracy, a traditional annuity, an investment account, and a tax-free settlement design. All have benefits, all have cons. Um, however, you'll see how this all plays out. And typically when we're planning for a client, we would appropriate the funds appropriately. So there'd be a specific amount in cash the client want to take right away, some within an investment account that they could withdraw whenever they felt like, some guaranteed income included in an annuity product, but the vast majority of it would be in a tax-free settlement design. And so the best parts about an annuity is that it's tax-free growth. However, that growth can be limited. So with interest rates being so low right now, it's between one and 2%, most of you who are practicing personal injury law know this. An annuity also has a fixed payment schedule, and this is what allows it to be tax-free. However, the payments are also guaranteed. A traditional investment account, all your investment opportunities are available. You can invest in just about anything you'd like. And typically you're gonna see between seven and 8% growth, but for my modeling, I like to use 5% because we like to model conservatively. 
especially I love getting calls from your clients when they're so excited that their accounts are way bigger than they expected. Traditional investment account also has a high degree of liquidity. You can typically have the funds within your own checking account within 24 to 48 hours, but the growth is taxed. So what some companies have been able to do is to kind of combine both options. In the tax-free settlement design, all your investment options are open. We're gonna assume the same seven to 8% growth for our modeling, we'll use only 5%. And there's the fixed payment schedule. So your client's never able to access all their money all at once. It's actually paid out to them over time. And because of that, the growth on the account is tax-free. So for modeling purposes, what that ends up looking like on a million dollars is pretty incredible. You can see for an annuity, the growth on that over a 10 year period with no withdrawals is gonna be a little bit more than 200,000. And you can also see that for the same amount in a tax-free settlement design is gonna be upwards of 450,000. So if we're doing all in one or the other, this is kind of what it would look like after 10 years of growth with no withdrawals. This is what it would look like after 10 years of growth with no withdrawals. And when we compare that growth, the difference between an annuity and a tax-free settlement design is gonna be more than a quarter million dollars. So just like you, if a client walks into your office and you make the wrong decision and how to advise them, it can be very detrimental to their case and their ultimate settlement. When they walk into my office, I have a similar similar issue to deal with. We have to make sure we're choosing the best plan for that. Now, the reason why that growth is different is an annuity product is a life insurance product and the payments are guaranteed. So there's some value in using them. However, they're just a piece of the puzzle. The tax free settlement design is backed by these other options, right? Apple, Google, Amazon stock is going to grow faster than 2%. We can all pretty much assume this. And even when there's dips in the market, like right now, we know eventually it'll get back on track. As we know from years of studies, the market typically grows between seven and 8%. And that leaves Tracy Morgan, one happy customer. And this is why I say the new industry standard for structured settlements is tax-free settlement design. But how does it actually work? So right now I'm gonna do a quick overview the simple steps that you need to take as an attorney. We'll go through a transaction review and we'll also cover some key features that Milestone provides. First, the first step is always connecting us to the client. We need to discuss financial planning in depth. Second, you're gonna to have to direct the funds to a special type of trust through the settlement agreement. And the question I get the most from clients is when or sorry, from attorneys is when to engage. Well, typically I would say when discovery is complete, the case is far enough along at this point, and there's still enough time to do that personalized plan. I wanna make it clear that settlement dollars don't have to be concrete numbers before we talk to the client. A lot of the time, the financial situation of the family is gonna even be more important than the dollars they're getting in. We need to understand what bills are due, how much they owe, and whether or not their goals and life ambitions are gonna cost X amount of dollars or Z amount of dollars. And also the personalized touch we provide takes time. The customization, the level of sophistication we provide really is an arduous process. The second point of sending the money to a special type of trust through the settlement agreement is very important. A special type of trust I'm referring to is a qualified settlement fund. Now a qualified settlement fund comes out of environmental law in the 1970s. And I could talk about it at length. We have another webinar, it's a half hour long dedicated to QSFs. I highly recommend that you take a chance to view it if you've never heard of QSFs before. Um, maybe you're an attorney, you work with them all the time, and this is just arduous, so I'll try to go through this very briefly. QSFs avoid receipt. So when the funds go from the settlement agreement into the QSF, there has been no revenue and no income. 
at that point, the funds remain with the QSF. And this is based on treasury regulations and a number of rulings and allows for deferrals through Childs v. Commissioner, et cetera. And we as a company set up national QSFs you can join through a simple joinder agreement. We do firm-wide QSFs, so law firms can put all of their revenue into a QSF and decide how much to accept as revenue in a year and how much to defer into future years. And we do individual and group QSFs as well. Now, QSFs are one of the greatest planning tools trial attorneys have. If you have any other questions about them, always feel free to give me a call. And to direct the funds into the QSF, all you need is really one or two sentences within your settlement agreement. Instead of the funds moving through a line in the settlement agreement to your IOLTA or to your escrow account, you're just going to replace that language we're sending it to the settlement account, which is qualified settlement fund. And we can provide that exact language for you. The payee rights, where the funds will be directed, must be negotiated with defense counsel. There's no ethical obligation to tell them it's going to a QSF, but you will have to tell them that it needs to go to this account. And so this is what the transaction review actually looks like. The funds go into a settlement, and from the settlement agreement, they flow into the qualified settlement fund. From the qualified settlement fund, we move the funds through our assignment and holding companies, and then custody with a national custodian. Typically, we use Charles Schwab. Charles Schwab is then able to pay out directly to the client in their personalized payment schedule, similar to an annuity payment schedule. Now, the key features of our program are liquidity, security, customization, and of course, the highest degree of customer care. So while the payment schedule is fixed, similar to an annuity, and it has to be decided to before filing, sorry, it needs to be decided to before payments are made. The fixed payment schedule also, <clears throat> excuse me. I think the fire alarm might be going off in my house right now. So if there's a fire bursting behind me, please let me know because that would be dreadful. Also perfect timing, wouldn't you say? Um, so as far as the liquidity goes, uh, there's a fixed payment schedule that must be agreed to at the time of signing on to the settlement agreement. Now that fixed payment schedule can be flexible within itself. It can be monthly disbursements, annual disbursements, biannual disbursements, um, and we also provide for a one-time no-fee hardship provision. That one-time no-fee hardship provision exists in case if your client has a fire, another tragic accident, a car accident, we're able to make sure that they have access to their funds. We're also able to pair a tax-free settlement design with an investment account, and this is part of the appropriation example I showed before. You saw probably 9% was going to an investment account, while more than two thirds are going into a tax-free settlement design. Well, the tax-free settlement design can pay annual payments into the investment account, making those funds then available to the client in the future, but growth will continue. It's a wonderful process. And security is important to highlight. Uh, we provide an automatic default judgment against our holding company in Delaware, uh, if there's any sort of insolvency or debt issue with our company. It's the best solution we can think of. They're a secured creditor and they're able to access their funds relatively easily. We also do a one-time no-fee hardship provision. And we, of course, work with national custodians who are able to provide you access of the account simply on your cell phone. So your client will have a Charles Schwab app and they're able to access the, view the funds whenever they please. There's quarterly updates on growth and disbursements. And this allows your clients to really understand what's going on. We also start with one-on-one -on -one initial consultations between your client and the fiduciary. Our Director of Wealth Management, Amy Fogel, is a wonderful, wonderful person who's able to meet with your client and discover their individual needs. Our CEO and founder, John Baer, has been in the industry for more than two decades. He's been helping clients all that time. And at that point, all investment options are available. Whatever they think will best build their account, with the help of professional guidance, of course, is what we're going to use. And now we use daily management as well, daily trades, and we provide quarterly accountings. And these quarterly accountings, as I mentioned before, are important because we're able to check in with the client and then continue our one-on-one -on -one consultations so their account changes as their life needs change. I also want to highlight that as a team, we care about your clients. 
We're trained in dealing with all sorts of different experiences and individuals. And our staff is regularly retrained to improve outcomes for your clients. In the same level of confidentiality as you'll see at major law firms, we also carry within our firm. We typically handle cases around sex abuse, around sexual assault, as well as around police misconduct. These types of cases, the clients sometimes have already been traumatized. They will not be re-traumatized by us. And of course, all this sounds wonderful, but what would it all cost? Well, I believe we have the most competitive fee structure out there. Uh, we charge a one-time $2,500 assignment fee that covers all the administrative costs for all of our companies and moving the funds from the settlement agreement to the custodian. We also charge 1% of assets under management as any typical wealth advisor would or does, that's seen as an industry standard. So your client gets the tax-free benefit as well as the professional financial advice. I would be amiss if I ended this presentation without at least mentioning attorney fee deferral. Your clients have the ability to do a tax-free settlement design. The funds go from the settlement agreement to the QSF, move through a series of assignments, become a customizable payment stream directly to them, and they, of course, have a tax-exempt, customizable investment account. Well, attorneys can do pretty much the same thing. When the funds are within the QSF, there's been no business revenue. They can defer it through a series of assignments, create a customizable payment stream years down the line, and all those funds that they, all that revenue they choose to defer is tax deferred. So if you have a $10 million settlement, there's no need to pay $5 million in taxes on it. Instead, you can defer it down the road into a tax deferred investment account, build up wealth over time, and then eventually accept the funds as they grow. And if you want to see some amazing statistics, look at tax deferred wealth over time. It's really wonderful stuff. So feel free to contact me. And again, it's within a customizable investment account. Now for all these services, we usually provide them for accounts of $250,000 or more. Um, if you're concerned, your attorney fee won't be that big. If we're using a QSF, we can also combine attorney fees. And so let's say you have you know, $200,000 in extra revenue in any current year, we can defer that down the road as well. So my name's Sam Dolce. I'm an attorney that specializes in all of this stuff. Uh, I've been trying to help clients around these issues my whole life, and I'd be happy to talk with you. So I provide my calendar if you want to schedule an appointment. You can always call my cell phone. Our office number is on there as well, as well as my email. I will be providing you with future materials, um, just a quick summary of the slides, and then the FAQs that may have popped up along the way. Um, if you have any questions for me, feel free to ask them within the questions. A portion on the right hand of your screen, I'll be happy to take them live. Thank you. So it doesn't appear we had any questions. So thank you very much for your time. I hope this was informative. And please give me a call if you ever do have any that pop up. Thanks again for your time. Bye-bye.